capitalism, some moderate or liberal capitalism is taking place in China and all of that. So those, those are things we talk about ideology. But now, let us break it down to little things like manifesto. What is it that we, we, we want to be known for? And let us walk from answer to question. Is it possible for us to say, for instance, you can at sight notice which state is a PDP state or which one is AC state? It has to do with the individual governors that are governing those states. Yes, we all agree. I mean, friends and foe alike agree that uh, Fashola is doing very well in Lagos. It has nothing to do with ACN. It's not as if ACN has a program where they say 18% 18 of your budget must go to education, 30 must go to agriculture, in which case you see that replicated in Ogo State, in Edo State, or wherever they are controlling. No. And PDP it, doesn't either. And PDP doesn't. That's the point I'm making. PDP doesn't. So you, you can also walk across to a place like uh, uh, Kwaibom State, and you find out that the governor is doing massively well. He's not ACN. He's PDP. You get into a place like River State, River State is doing well. He is PDP, not ACN. So, for you to begin to... Uh, it's for the, for the rest of the unsuspecting uh, public to take in that cliche of we are progressives. What is progressive about? Oh, yeah. about, mm. about are you saying, is it, is it the nature of the country? And some people will say that we're too... Uh, we're still, our democracy is still too young for us to base it on ideologies in the sense that what is hitting at us right now, what our major problem is, is developmental issues. And as such, the question of ideology doesn't begin to arise. You are dead right. You see, I have once said it here that uh, to be a politician or to even mount a soap boss, all you need to do is walk into the place very blindly. You may not even know the community. You just say, I'm going to provide you with water. I'm going to provide you with roads. I'm going to build bridges for you people. I'm going to give you electricity. And you'll be surprised that half of what you are promising is what the, the need of the community is. It's their felt <laughs> need. So it is a developmental issue. Needs. That's why I said you are. Those are felt needs of literally every community you can find. Are those you know, needs being met, met? Because if you so put that... The, the, the peculiarity will now be those who are in riverine areas and all of oh. that. You now begin to talk about what... what I wanted, I wanted, I wanted you to situate this uh, okay. in, in the context of the statement by Bamanga Tuku when he said, well, PDP will win more states in the next election, 2015. So when we talk about needs of a people or needs of people in states, perhaps uh, being a member of a PD, uh, PDP, uh, do you think that some of these states have done enough to the extent it will reflect in other states uh, that will be... Uh, one or capture? How do you use it, Naizu? Oh, capture does not exist again. Good. So, <laughs> all right. It's, 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 they, 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 they'll that be won, won uh -huh. by the PDP. Sure, they, those states will be won. But you see, uh, winning states these days. I've also told you that the electoral system has changed. For us, that are practitioners, we do know that there is a remarkable difference between what happened some four, six, seven years ago and what happens now. You now end your votes. You have to go back to the people and explain what you have done. If you are unable to do things that are visible, things that the people will require, they will vote you out. Because votes are now counted. And votes are being counted. That is the situation now. It may well be an accident that a certain Jega was given this position and he got a number of people who are probably like minds and they are working hard towards that. Whether or not you like it, critics may well say uh, not much has changed. And all. We do know that a lot has changed. And we have found out that you can be voted in again based on your performance. So when the party chairman said so, he is only saying that we are performing in quite a number of the states. And that people will, on the basis of such performance, vote us, into other, I mean, vote us in, in other states that we are angling for, that we will need to get. So that is it's, it's purely a contest that that is going to be based on votes, and I think so, so long as this system lasts, except somewhere along the line, you know, somebody starts playing, monkeying around with, you know, what, what is in place now, but otherwise, votes are beginning to count, and the politicians are beginning to go to the electorates to canvass for votes. Before then, you didn't need the electorates. I mean, the results are written, everybody knew that, I mean, it was... It was, it, was, it, was, it was a major issue, and of course everybody knew it was an open secret, you know. And that is why everybody rushed to court immediately after that, and a plethora of cases and all of that. Mm -hmm. so, but going beyond that, I want, to, I, I want to go beyond PDP and APC and begin to ask the basic question. What is there for the people? We well, have all agreed that... The same people that are in APC can be found in PDP. Indeed, the, 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 
the Public Secretary of uh, PDP in Edo State, while he was responding to some of your questions yesterday, talked about that they couldn't be accusing PDP of anything because quite a number of people who are not in ACN were people who were in his, in his uh, uh, party. In other words, that, that actually uh, validates the point I'm making, that there is a fluidity of membership. You just simply move from one place to the other. So it has nothing to do with being progressive, be, having an ideology, uh, lacking education, because in, in, in Apaibo, for instance, education is free. So, and that is the mantra of uh, uh, ACN or the world, free education. It's been provided by a non-ACN uh, 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 government. So, in other words, let us agree. But the question, the basic question we want to ask, what is there for the people? If we have not been getting it right with those who are there now, the people who are there now cannot be talking about change. Change must be brought to them. In other words, we are encouraging younger people to get into politics. Because there's something that worries me. We appear to have obliterated a particular generation. The current generation now doesn't appear to have a place in politics. Remember, okay, we, we are talking about APC today. I mean, APC today. Who are we talking about? We had to plead with, or we are now appealing, appealing and praying that uh, General Buhari should bury his personal ambition. We are talking about General Buhari. Who was the head of state of this country? Who ruled this country? 30 years ago. He was governor. Governor of Borden State more than 30 years ago. And at that point in time, they were all young people. They were in their 20s. Peter Speed, for instance, was governor at 20-something. Sarah uh, was commissioner at 20-something. Gowan was head of state of this country at 32. Why, can, why do we have to have those people here? Uh, still in government by now. And they are the And limit. there are people who are talking about change. And we know that there is a social science assumption that those who are old are not amenable to change. It is a scientific assumption. I remember you can, it, it, you is, cannot bring change to an old man. That, that was why the youth were a little bit worried. This is this this is, when, this is when we saw, I'm sorry I have to put, keep this in. Okay. When we saw someone uh, who was 63 years old being a youth leader of the, your political party. And the youth at that point in time, I still remember, they, they, they were very, very livid and angry about that. And you say we should talk about a new generation of leaders. What kind of youth is that? So, you see, you, see uh, you, you notice that my view about politics and party membership is, is not a reactionary one. I'm not there being fatalistic about a party. That, that is to say, it, 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 let it be a, the, the all and end of everything. You know, if, 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 if you remember, I oppose that on, on, on national TV. On, I think it's either in your, your program here or AIT. That it is not possible for us to have 20, I think about 26 or 27 positions in the executive council. Only one position is left for the young people. A 60 something year old man takes it. And the way it was rationalized that age is in the mind. I said, sorry, it is in the body. If your heart wants to fail, it will fail at a particular time. Your eyes will fail. No matter how, you cannot put your cap upside down and sag your, 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 your trousers and probably dance to, uh, what, what kind of music do they dance to? You know, rap music. No and matter how that. young your mind No is. matter how young your mind you want to listen to Osade Bey, you want to listen to Benizo Bey and all of that. And these people are listening to something that does not have rhythm, does not have rhyme, and they are aesthetic about it. So you cannot be a young man. It's not possible. <laughs> and I'm sure that you might take exception <laughs> to that particular statement, but quickly. No, 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 but that, but that, is, that, that the, is how, that's the, a, that's how old, language. That's how older people perceive the music. <laughs> okay. They, they have their own language and they can be left with that. It's a generational, it's a generational issue. You, you get the point? So, that's, I, I oppose it, no doubt. And I, 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 it's not like I am part of that rationalization. I did not, I, 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 I did not rationalize it. I did not justify it. Mm -hmm. You see? So, going back to what I'm saying, having looked at all of these people, and they are still in the system up till now, people should begin to get interested. And you see, Nigerians are divided into two groups, groups now. Broadly, Two groups. One, those who are despondent and just believing that nothing will work again in Nigeria. And there is another group. That group is not a political, that the, the one I'm talking about. This other group is the group that says it must work. They, are, they have critical consciousness that makes them work towards Nigeria working. And this particular group is the group that must get interested in politics. Why are they going to get interested in politics? There are several accidents that happen in politics. Let us look at a local, local example. 
If, for instance, this uh, pensioner we are elogizing today probably stayed in his chambers and continued with his law practice,